empowerment isn't easy. Magic Johnson said to me years and years ago, and I'll never forget it, so one thing he said to me that I just never forgot, and it was one sentence, and it was so simple. He said, power is in ownership. This is a man who owns a lot of things. And I didn't take it as really the things, all the things I can own. And we were talking about business and owning businesses and owning this and owning that and having the power in your community to bring dollars into. But I thought about the ownership of my history, the ownership of my story, and knowing that I would not give another person the power to tell my story. Because when you give people that power, they're not going to tell the truth. They're going to tell their truth, what they want people to know about your life. And it's always going to be wrong, just like they do in the textbooks. It's always wrong. When you leave this earth, when you and your family are long gone, and there's another generation, your great, great, great grandkids are here, what do you want them to know about your life? What do you want them to know about who you were and who they can be, despite or even because of missteps? Things that may not have been so pretty. I don't think anybody in here has a pretty life. None of you look as if you have golden spoons hanging out of your mouths. Everyone here is a real person. Everyone here goes through real things. But almost everyone here is going to be ashamed to admit that. We empower each other by teaching each other how to share our stories. We empower each other by sharing our stories, letting the person next to you know that it's okay for them to share things. I'm not going to judge you today. I'm going to ask you, how are you really? And don't tell me okay, because you're not. Not every day, not all the time. And it's all right to say, eh, not so, uh, today maybe not so much. This happened and that happened, I'm feeling this kind of way. And how many people end their lives every day because they just can't say, I'm not okay. Because you won't let them say, I'm not okay. Because if you hear that, you don't know how to receive that, you judge that, and that person has nowhere to go. How many millions of people, kids, adults alike, end their lives because they have nowhere to go? Because no one ever said to them, it's okay to tell your story, no matter how terrible it is. And I'm not going to judge you. And I'm not going to shame you. You don't have to be silent anymore. And we can tell everyone about this, and you'll help so many people. <clears throat> Empower each other to leave proof of life and personal histories behind for future generations by allowing space to express experiences without shame or judgment. That's what I want you to do. I'll read it to you again. Empower each other to leave proof of life and personal histories behind for future generations by allowing space to express experiences without shame or judgment. That's what you need to do. Empower each other. Because you don't know how many lives you alone can save. And one of them might be your own. By just sharing. And especially for black women. The matriarchs of the families. Those who will be one day. We're the storytellers. We're the story keepers. Everyone tells us their secrets. Your kids will cry on your bosom. They'll let you know everything. You're men. Your men will let you know everything. You have the stories. You have the experiences. You have everything. And when you silence the black women, you silence the entire society. You erase the black women. You, 
You denigrate them. You talk about them like they're nothing. You tell them they're not loyal and they're not worthy of anything. You tell them that they're only really worthy of their sex and then you tell them that they are unworthy for using their sex and you're breaking them down systematically to the smallest molecule and then who is going to hold up your family and then who is going to tell the stories and who's going to let people know that you were here? It's the women who sit around the campfire. It's us who share the most. Why would you break down the seeds that you need to further this lineage, this history, to pick up where those books left off, those lying books, pick up where they left, and tell a real truth, how we really live. Maybe we don't know where we come from. Maybe those of us who don't know our tribes, our original languages, our indigenous food, those of us who lost that, maybe we can start it here so that 400 years from now, your ancestors will know where they came from. Just because you start off broken, just because they silenced you then, doesn't mean you keep the silence going now. Doesn't mean you keep the shame going now. Because all you are doing is you are killing off your people in the future. So you tell your story. You can start small. You can tell the person next to you. You can tell your family, you can tell your friends, and you can write it down and just leave it somewhere for someone to find. No matter what happens in my life from this point on, there is one thing no one can ever deny, and that is that I was here. And that my life counted for something, that I made it count. That I took everything that I've gone through and I've made it matter to people and at least for the last decade, I've been changing lives with what I've gone through. I have a large platform. You can have a large platform. You can have whatever you want. But it doesn't have to be as large as mine. Don't feel that if, you're not, if you don't have the ear of millions of people, then it doesn't matter at all. You can change your corner of the world. You can change your corner of the world and everyone around you. You can affect your village. You can change your tribe. You can build something in your space that really, really matters. When I decided to write my first book, I'm now number seven, uh, 10 years later. So when I decided to write my first book, um, I thought about Vanessa Williams. Vanessa Williams was crowned, she was our first black Miss America. As a child, I watched this and I felt so proud. She was so pretty and she had this beautiful crown. She was surrounded by this sea of white women and I just thought, wow, this is amazing. Not long after, they stripped her of her crown. They took it. They ripped it from her head and they gave it to a white girl. Because someone said, you know what, this doesn't sit right with us as black women wearing this crown. That's weird, right? Because black women can't wear crowns. So that's just crazy. They're not queens. <laughs> Let's figure out how to take this from her. So they dug into her history and found a story she hadn't told. And there were photos of her simulating sex acts with another woman that she took for to make some money when she was younger, struggling. Vanessa Williams and another woman scissoring, doing all kind of lesbian things. Oh my God, this is terrible. And they stripped her for that. Of all the hard work she'd done, the crown that she earned, because it was a story she hadn't told. She was hiding something. When you hide things, you give people the power to strip your crown. You give people the power to take away everything you've worked so hard to build. When you tell your story, No one has any power over you and anyone that comes after you. Before I go, I want to give you guys three tools that you can use. For those of you who are interested, I believe everyone has a story. 
Everyone has something that matters. A lesson, a gift, a history, a life story. You have something that matters. You have something in your heart and in your mind that the world needs to hear. Because you do count. Because your life does matter. And you too can leave proof of life very easily. It's so much easier now than it was before because of technology. The first thing I'm going to tell you about is a website called CreateSpace. CreateSpace is owned by Amazon. It's a place where you can go and upload anything you want. It can be music, for those of you who are musicians. It can be video, for those of you who are film students and making your own stuff. Or it can be a book, no matter how short it is. Pamphlet, it can be 10 pages, doesn't matter. Create space will allow you to put your work on Amazon right away. Within two hours, it'll be up. They also have um, access to Kindle. Within two hours, you can have a book on the internet. Within two hours. It costs you nothing. It's completely free. What they do is, they allow people to buy your work, and it prints as it's bought. It's all print on demand. There are a lot of students who ask me about, how do I write this book? How do I get this out to the world? And I tell them it's so simple. It's so easy. It's free. Write something, no matter what it is. It could be your music. It could be the video. No matter what it is, it becomes instantly available to the world. The second tool I want you to know about is something called iTunes Connect. This is where we upload things to iTunes, same thing. You can write a book, it can be digital, you can throw it on iTunes, it's there for the world to see. It's completely free to you. It costs nothing to put a book on iTunes or iBooks. Nothing. It costs absolutely nothing. And for those of you who do have Macintoshes, there's iBooks Author. This gives you templates perfectly designed templates to write books. Free app. Completely free to you. You punch in your words, you drag and drop some photos, you have a book. It's beautiful. It's iPad and iPhone um, synced, and you can again use iTunes Author, um, I mean iTunes Connect to put it up the next day. There are so many things you can do. Everything doesn't have to be 120 characters. You can't tell your story in 120, 140 characters. You just can't. Leaving comments on other people's stories, when other people tell their truths, that's not helping you tell yours. Demolishing someone else's or trying to demolish someone else's personal brand does not help you build your own. Start leaving proof of life. Start telling people who you are. Let them know you were here. Start writing history. Start writing history because it took yours away a long time ago. You've got to leave something for the people who are coming behind you. Leave shame and judgment behind. Receiving and giving. It only works to do exactly what slave masters and oppressors wanted you to do. To stop talking. Stop using your language. Don't share. Don't tell them what you're going through. That's what they wanted. And that's what we've got. Break that cycle. Um, before I leave you, I want also, before I go on, you guys know all about video blogging and blogging, online diaries. I want you guys to start writing. For those of you who are interested in writing, I want you guys to start writing and start sharing. You guys can find me on the internet, of course, on any social media at, uh, at Critico. So I love to read work that my students write. I help some people get published as well. I know there are people in here who are interested. I can tell by some of the faces. And so reach out to me if you have work that you'd like me to read. It's part of what I do. And I'd love to help some of you guys get your stories out. Okay? Thank you so much for having me today. I appreciate it. I hope my message was well received.